My name's Joel and I'm here to show you the new Nebula Mars 3 portable projector. Let's get it unpacked and let's get it charged. start guide, remote and your charging cable and of course the Nebula Mars 3. It's got a nice sturdy lens cover which also acts as the on off switch. As you see the moment I opened it, it starts up. The lens itself gives you the image at 1080p benefits from a digital autofocus and auto keystone correction just so as you can get that image looking great. You can play your movies via the inbuilt Android TV and all your favourite apps can be uploaded. I turn it round, lift the waterproof flap. You can also use USB-C, USB-A to insert your flash drives to look at your favourite movies, pictures, etc. You've got HDMI, you've got a speaker, external speaker that is, because it's got its own 40 watt speakers internally, or your headphones, and then you've got your charging jack there for DC. There is the LED bar which has got three settings and it's just another useful feature for when you take this out and about, say camping for example. Also, USB A and C can be used for charging devices such as your phones and your digital cameras when you're out and about. You can see the monitor there for the battery, the internal battery. The internal battery is 185 watt hours and it can offer up to five hours of play time depending on how bright you have the projector. You've got a mode button which can flick through the three modes. You come out on standard, this is the brightness of the light that comes out of the projector lens. Eco, standard or there's an AI which basically is an intelligent uh, setting which adjusts automatically the light setting according to the surrounding light in the area. On the top, you've got a useful joystick where you can navigate through the menu, the return button, also for the menu, volume up, volume down, and this button here turns the speaker, sorry, the projector into a speaker, a Bluetooth speaker that is, so you can enjoy your music. There's this grippy pad on the top. It's a nice flat area where you can put your phone when you're using it for uh, casting because you can uh, use Chromecast on this device to cast movies from your phone directly to the projector. Also, just for placing the controller so it's in a safe spot. If we have a look underneath, Two non slip pads and the tripod screw there. It's a standard screw for just about any tripod. And also, if you don't want to lug around a tripod, a very convenient stand. You can stand the projector at the required angle for optimum viewing. <laughs> 